Hey, thanks for watching the Coffee with Pip Show. I do appreciate you stopping by and supporting my channel today. So today I went through McDonald's drive through and got 20 Chicken McNuggets. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with those 20 Chicken McNuggets right now. The Coffee with Pips Show. America's favorite foodie. Not at all. Welcome. Welcome to Coffee with Pips Show. Welcome back. Okay, about those 20 chicken McNuggets I was talking about, I'm going to make three separate sandwiches. I'm going to make chicken parmesan, chicken cordon bleu, and chicken barbecue sandwiches. They're going to be delicious. Okay, so the first one that I'm making is chicken parmesan. I'm going to take a pasta sauce, put it on the bottom and on the top of the bun. Then I'm going to take three chicken McNuggets and strategically place those on the bun. Then I'm going to take the provolone cheese, put that over uh, the chicken McNuggets. I'm going to take the sandwich and I'm going to walk that over to the microwave and I'm going to put it in the microwave for 40 seconds. Okay, I'm going to pull out the sandwich and oh, look at this. Nice and hot. Oh, a little too hot. 40 seconds. Whether you're a professional or not, bachelor, bachelorette, doesn't matter. You can make these sandwiches at the time it takes you to do 20 push ups. Well, in my case, the time it takes me to do 40 push ups? Ah, I'm just kidding. No, check this out. <laughs> The second sandwich I made is a chicken barbecue. So I got a little smart. I could have used two packs of barbecue sauce, but I used the barbecue sauce that I got with the chicken McNuggets and then put that on the top and the bottom of the inside of the roll. And I'm going to strategically place those chicken McNuggets. Again, remember, strategically is the key. And then I'm going to take a piece of cheddar cheese and I put that right over the top. Walk that over the microwave for 40 seconds. God, this is good. It really is. You wouldn't even know they were McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. You really wouldn't. I was going to buy the dollar chicken sandwiches and then it take the chicken off, which you could do, and then make it. But I thought, wow, I can be a cheapskate and have a lot of sandwiches for a really low price. And you doctor it up a little bit. You can't even know. You don't even know those are stupid McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. The last sandwich I made was chicken cordon bleu. It's really not a true version of chicken cordon bleu. So I strategically place three chicken McNuggets, put a piece of fresh, beautiful ham that I got from the deli, slice just for me, put a piece of ham down and a piece of Swiss cheese over that. Then I walk the sandwich over to the microwave, put it in for 40 seconds and voila, it's done. Chicken cordon pips because it's not really but you know what I mean but it was delicious okay so what I had to purchase was uh, of course a 20 chicken McNuggets four hard rolls two pieces of ham from the deli two pieces of provolone cheese two pieces of Swiss cheese two pieces of cheddar one jar uh, Barilla marinara sauce, which, well, pasta sauce. Okay, get this. So everything is eleven forty three. Everything came up to $11.43. Swear to God, it goes so fast. Sandwiches are delicious. How can you go wrong? But this is the best part. I picked up a box of pasta because I can do the same thing. I can take chicken, put it on my pasta, along with the sauce, because I have, I will not even use a fraction of the sauce, put that in the microwave, have fresh pasta with chicken. So now you have all of these ingredients and you really didn't use up a lot of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the extra chicken McNuggets, put them in a refrigerator and you can use them for the next day. I picked up a, a salad mix for $3.49, Caesar salad mix, and uh, 
I don't even have to buy salad dressing. How lazy is that? Altogether, $11.43 for everything we made today. Plus, I have all of these extras. I have the pasta sauce. I have all the meat. I have the cheese. I have uh, another hard roll left because I bought four of them. I didn't need four of them. I could have bought six and then had that for the next day. So I have all of these chicken nuggets left. So even if I didn't want to make more food, I could give them to the dog for crying out loud as a treat. I have to tell you though, don't go to the McDonald's on Blue Mound and Brookfield Roads. They suck. You don't want to go. Don't ever go. First of all, you pull in, they're very mean. I know these kids don't get paid a lot of money. They pr practically throw the food at you. Don't ask if you want sauce. You have to ask for your own, otherwise you're screwed. I would have got chipped out of two barbecue sauces if I didn't say something. But I could have had two more, but you're supposed to get four with 20. I did go to Kroger's, which is also known as a, a Metro Market here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. They're located, they're located on Blue Mount Road in Brookfield. I'll tell you what, nicest people you ever want to know. Well, I don't know them, but they're very nice. Um, Help me um, gather my things, you know, because I'm a, well, I'm not a bachelor, but if I was, they would have helped me anyway. So I'm just real excited. I'm real excited to share these tips with you. I know it seem like no brainers, but like I said, you come home, slice a hard roll, throw the chicken on, throw your dressing on, mix up a salad, whatever, five minutes tops. How can you go wrong? And if you like this video, subscribe below and make sure that you hit the bell and I'll bring you information on new things that are happening with Coffee with Pips and new videos that come up every week. Thank you everybody and thank you so much for watching the Coffee with Pips show. I really do appreciate you and have a great week.